This is ADT 1160U, Digital Communication Technologies. The title of this video clip is Information Control and Repurposing. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. What can Mary do to find her way through this information overload? What can Mary do with the knowledge she gains from the websites Pierre and Joe recommended? What will be Mary's strategy? After her meeting with Pierre and Joe, Mary feels as though she needs to learn to speak another foreign language. They didn't mention much about technology, but they had talked a lot about ideas they were getting from the various hyperlinks they had sent her. For instance, there were some video tutorials about different software products to develop courses. Other resources were how-tos on distance learning. Some resources they were mentioning were of interest more in terms of the approach to interaction online. Some articles gave them ideas on selling the products of the language school. For example, one article talked about engaging learners in a discussion that precedes a course rather than waiting for the course to start. This allowed the teacher to know the learners and to see in which topics they could be interested into. Another article talked about involving learners in authentic online discussions. The teacher had to be well networked in blogs, forums, and virtual worlds, and the prerequisite for the course was that students owned a computer and had access to high-speed internet. The conversation with Pierre and Joe went on for about an hour, during which Mary took a lot of notes. A TED talk by Clay Shirky sheds the light interestingly on Mary's project. This talk is available at the following link that is also available in the course outline. Stop this video and take the time to listen to Clay Shirky's arguments about online collaboration. The potential collaboration with digital communication technologies has become so important that it would be sad not to tap into the resources that people can produce. As Shirky argues, with the publication of hundreds of millions of wall cats, even if learners do something that looks futile, there is value in day-to-day -day acts each person that contributes on a social network is part of an activity that can have a lot of power, which is actually communal value that is oriented around generosity. That is what Shirky calls the cognitive surplus. Let's go back to Mary's case. When Mary went back home that evening, she took some time to reflect on what Pierre and Joe had said. She realized two things. First, the language school that she knew in a brick-and-mortar building didn't have to evolve in a brick-and-mortar building. The expansion of the school could be very well completely online. Second, the language courses could be completely different. They didn't have to be instructor-led. They could very well be conversations in which the language instructor simply facilitates the discussion, but that would involve a complete redesign of how courses are delivered and how instructors assume their roles. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. What has Mary learned about information control and repurposing? How can she apply what she learned in the design of new language courses? And what is Clay Shirky's most important message in his TED Talk?